Ooh, welcome back gamers to the Experience Points Podcast and this is a episode of Retro Gaming Sessions and we are featuring Kim the Awesome on this episode and she has chosen which game to play? Super Mario World. Very nice. And since I have a controller in my hand, we're going to go ahead and do two players. <laughs> I'm just going to chit chat and play the game. So go ahead and get it started whenever you're ready. So one of the reasons why I chose this game is because there are actually on that list, there are only three games that I have ever played. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and two of them are ones you've already done the thing for. <laughs> I gotcha. That's funny. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. And I see you played it already. <laughs> I, I'm dabbling in it, just trying to get used to it. I gotcha. Nope, I've... I've touched almost every one of these games so far just to experience them even if they're really bad <laughs> of course this one's a classic oh yeah i think this is the one of the only ones i've played like repeatedly like i played through it and i'm like okay well i didn't it looks like i think i missed some things over on the side and let me try to do it again and i don't know it holds up it's a good nice game oh 100 percent now, do you go left or right first? Which one do you go? Oh, you're a left girl. <laughs> yeah, might as well. <laughs> um, me and my friends used to play together, and I, I refused to, like, take things that I thought belonged to them. Like, if they accessed the Switch, like, I would not take it at all. Oh, you went down. Yeah, it doesn't take long. You forgot about the Bill of Bill, huh? <laughs> and I just, I just played it, and I totally forgot about Bill of Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad that you have that stage. If you push down on the uh, the right trigger, you 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 do a little clap. Maybe it's the left one. I don't know. If if you bring up that little hand again, if if you move the right or left trigger, it brings up that hand. I mean, not trigger. I'm sorry. The uh, there you go. Oh yeah, I see it. And and you gotta put you gotta push that button in to uh to clap. Just just push it down. <laughs> no no no, I mean I mean I mean in like there you go. I see it. There you go. And I just flip down, you actually have to push it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta jump off Yoshi, Lord. Ain't been that damn long. Uh, me and Eric, me and Blackout, me and Eric, we actually um, we like long played this like last year sometime. Had a great time doing it. We actually opened up the, uh, the Star Road and everything. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, I love opening up the Star World. Yes. Let's go, Yoshi. Let's go. I wish they would make like a brand new 2D Mario game for the Switch. That's what I want. And I don't want it in the style of freaking, uh, ah, get out of here. I don't want it in the style of the, the new Super Mario games because I just, I got, I got so tired of that style. At first it was great because it was something new, something different, but they then used it for like four or five games after that. And then they bought all those games back for the Switch and it's like, <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> Give me something a little bit different. That right, girl, you got this. There you go. <laughs> I've already made it further. There you go. One of my uh, favorite things to to watch non gamers do when they play this game is they t <laughs> they turn their whole bodies left and right like when Mario goes up. <laughs> it's the cutest oh thing. It's the cutest thing, which is exactly where um, the, the the name for the Wii came from. Really? But, yeah, because he uh, um, Miyamoto said that when you know he watched gamers and non gamers play alike, that they would stick their tongue out and they would turn their bodies to try to make them turn. And w whenever he would jump, whenever Mario would jump, they would like you know uh, actually lift the controller up. So he drew inspiration from that, and that's how he came up with the name for the Wii and the control scheme behind it. Huh. 
Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. I like little geeky stuff like that. I did like the Wii. I played that one a lot, too. Yeah, the Wii was fantastic. Uh, my cousin, <laughs> she wanted to play Wii Bowling every time she saw me, because, of course, I got the Wii as soon as it came out. And um, she wanted to play Wii Bowling all the time, because I would beat her, and she actually got really good, and she would beat, beat me really bad. But one of the first times she played... Um, she forgot to put the strap around her wrist, and I told her, I was like, you, you need to put your strap on. It sounded terrible, but put your strap on. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking, I'm, I'm, I'm telling my 12-year-old my, my, my cousin to put the strap on. And she had a glass of milk on top of the TV, which is right next to the, right next to the freaking Wii. She launched the controller, trying to bowl through the glass, and the glass exploded. Milk was everywhere i was oh, no. so mad I, had, <laughs> I never grabbed a towel so quick in my life <laughs> oh yeah i bet you after that she she was using that strap all the time <laughs> she had the strap on every day after that <laughs> so yeah after that she was uh she was pretty careful no, i can't go down there yeah ah get back here it's also one of my favorite things about Yoshi is that he affords you an extra hit. Yes. Every time I'm on this stage, I usually fall with Yoshi and I jump off to kill him and save myself. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't die this time though. Yay. Yeehaw. I think, I think Kevin went to um, McDonald's and thinks he's going to get me a Diet Coke. Very nice. Oh man, that's true love right there. Knowing I got my <laughs> caffeine headache. <laughs> <laughs> That'll make it all better. It's a good man. Alright, we're just gonna go up to this first castle and after we beat it, we'll be all done. Oh, the coins. This is so satisfying. Uh, the one game for um, the DS, I believe, uh, it basically just it was a Mario game that revolved around coins and getting as many coins as possible and uh, there was one power up that when you got it the faster you ran the more coins you got and like coins just like trailed off of Mario it was so satisfying oh wow so satisfying uh, there was another one another power block that turned all the enemies into coins and uh, this one stage was just full of flying Koopas and then when you hit that <laughs> block they, all the coins just dropped to the ground I was like ha ah. I'm in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in coin heaven. Now, uh, Eric knows that Water Worlds, not like this. Th this world's fine because it's still a platformer, but Water Worlds are my most hated worlds in any Mario game, be it 2D or 3D. Because they're just so damn slow. Like, there's not Super been. Super Mario 3 was good for those. Uh huh. Even though, even though those were more enjoyable because of the frog suit, the frog suit is um, like my, yeah. favorite, my favorite power up of all time. Um, but even even with that being, you know, a little bit more enjoyable, I still hate water levels. I always hated the level where um, on Super Mario Three, where the sun would shoot down at you. <laughs> that always scared <laughs> the hell out of me when I was a kid. I was like, that got annoying at first. I got really good at dodging, but I hated having to constantly worry about him swooping down while I'm still trying to do my own thing on the ground. Yeah. Which game did he have the flip when he got the star? What game was that? It was, it was, it was, it was one of the 2D ones, but when he got the star, he would do like a little front flip, and I thought that was so cute. Which game was that? I think it, I feel like it was one of the earlier ones. I know, right? That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. I almost need to put... See if I can find Super Mario 3 on him. And be doing that one. There you go. We can save that for the next episode. <laughs> that one was a good one. Uh, has, has Kevin picked his game yet? Do you know? I don't know. Okay. So, uh, next week we're doing uh, Kirby. Uh, for Eric, the one for the SNES, and I'll probably play that with him too. 
Have you ever played? I I might be remembering the name of it wrong. Um, I think it was on regular Nintendo. Know, the Adventures of Lolo. Yes, I have. That one, I I did. I love that one. <laughs> Isn't that? It on was here? just so simple. I thought it was on here. Isn't it on here? It might be. There you go, girl. I just haven't um, really spent a lot of time to check it out. Gotcha. It's all good. Yeah, th th there's a ton of ton of great games there to play. Oh, look at that. I used to make sure I got every one of those damn Koopas. <laughs> <laughs> like you will die <laughs> by my hand. Yeah, this is this is one of the games I had. Just the most ingenious mechanics in it, and it's like every every stage just felt so different from the next. And I love how the themes themes change. Watch yourself. There we go. Um, of course, Chocolate World is my favorite because I'm a fatty and I love chocolate. So. <laughs> That's my boy. I love chocolate. But you know, my son does not even care for chocolate. Oh. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Oh, same for my wife. She doesn't. She, she she likes white chocolate. Okay, but she won't go out go out of her way to get it. Like me, I would go out of my way to get some damn chocolate. Well, white chocolate's different. White chocolate's gross. Go, bro. Go, bro. Go. Oh no! <laughs> what the hell? no! <laughs> I got I got a little too careless. So close. Well, to be honest, I do the same thing. So I I usually bounce off him. Oh, I get a start from your checkpoint. Interesting. I didn't know that. Huh. Uh, yeah, I usually get overzealous and I bounce off him and I die myself. <laughs> <laughs> He's tricky, damn it. Not as tricky as Wendy Koopa, though. Lord, I can't stand that shit. Wait, which one? What does she do here? Is she the one that bounces the rings? Yes. Pain oh, ass. No. Pain in my ass. I thought that was a box there. Da! Go, 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 go! Gotcha! Ha ha! Seriously, you made it look easy. <laughs> As I slide into the lava. <laughs> you, you have firepower, woman. You can do the same thing. <laughs> there you go. Quick and easy. Oh, and these little end animations were always so great. My favorite one is when he drop kicks the building. I love that so much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna drop kick a castle, damn it. <laughs> Donut land, yay! I really love this game. When so I was good. a kid, play it so much. It's so good. Alright, that was uh, World 1, uh, Super Mario World, and this has been Retro Gaming Sessions. And as always, gamers, keep on. Leveling up. That's right.